They bowled one ball, and I think Nick Madison has walked off. There is rain started. There we go. They're, they're, I told a, you it was a surprise that we were starting on time. They, they got one ball out. Upland again, bowling to Maddinson, who is caught behind the first wicket. Upland, that economical approach again, drifts onto the pads though, and Harris with a lovely shot off his legs, out through square leg and all the way to the boundary. Last ball of the Cummins over, and that's striking Hanscom on the pad. Looks very adjacent, and umpire Sean Craig agrees. Peter Hanscom throws the head back in disgust. Thanks, Adam. Double change in the commentary. Uh, Abbott hustles in, and Harris chases a wide one, but good connection as he slaps it through the covers for four. And he's driving again beautifully through the covers. Down. Conway, well wide of the sun. That's been caught by Hughes in the gully, diving away to his right. Harris chased a wide one. He is not conceding many runs. As that's wide of off stump. As soon as we say that, there's the commentator's curse. Past umpire Davidson, full and off the edge from Fraser McGurk. He went hard at that. That's a new over to short who edges that one between third slip and gully and that will go down to the rope for four the neville as conway short and wide and fraser mcgurk's hold out seb gotch waits for cummins and he gets something on that it'll race down to the rope for four we'll just have to wait last ball now oh is that an edge it is oh. yes conway's picked up gotch from the last ball before t Copeland bowls here to Short, who pushes forward. That man at Short mid on. And I think we're coming off. I could hear the rain. I thought, oh, no, 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 we don't want to hear that rain. But the stumps are coming out. And this rain's coming down very, very heavily. And I said for all those that may have been sitting down to watch. What waits again. And he plays an aggressive stroke out to the point boundary for four. He really jumped into that one with Cope mid on. As that's an edgy, streaky shot, but it will be a boundary. As Short tried to drive thick outside edge. Back on a point. In fact, it will be hauled in just inside by Dan Hughes. Oh, that's a good ball, and it's a wicket. A beautiful delivery from Trent Copeland. Conway supported by three slips oh. and they're almost in the game as Sutherland plays with soft hands and it scoots along the carpet. And Conway's drifting onto the pads and Sutherland got something on that. It's certainly a boundary. With it. He's been examined all day. Bouncer by Copeland. Attempted hook by Matt Short. He'll bring up his half century with the top edge flying down to the rope for four. For Victoria. Copeland tries again and drifts onto the pads, and he got something on that, and back-to-back -back boundary. As Abbott bowls, and Sutherland plays nicely, forcing off the back foot, forward of point, and that's gone out to the rope for four. Will? Abbott bowls here to Sutherland, who's now out. Caught by Copeland. And Cummins bounces him, and uh, it struck something. It did sound a bit wooden. It flies over the head on his way, hustles in to Short, who's edging and picking up another boundary. And it's been a profitable area for the Vicks today. Is the short ball coming again? No. Full and wide of off stump, and he carves that behind point and picks up another boundary. That Abbott charges in. And Boland play. He picks up a boundary. There you go. Third man again. Abbott to Short. Start of the last over of the day. And there's another edge between second slip and gully, and another boundary as Abbott Bowls to Scott Boland, and he digs it out and works it to mid-wicket where Harry Conway does the fielding, and that is day one complete, a day where, which was ruined early by rain, just the 61 overs bowl, but after Peter Neville inserted the Victorians, Victoria goes to stumps at 7 for 168, but the star with the bat, Matt Short, unbeaten on 80 from 164 deliveries with 10 boundaries,